Now that we're on day two, we see the city's trying to do a few things to restore civility to the subway system. They include a crackdown on turnstile jumpers and on the behavior of smoking or drinking in a subway car or doing drugs. But the number one focus here is to reverse that trend of violence we have been seeing below ground, the latest example of which, as you pointed out, happened just this afternoon here at the subway station. Scary, because you only see it on the news. So for, for me to be part of it, yeah, it was kind of scary. Kayla McCutcheon was riding a southbound 456 train with her six-year-old son, Logan, when a fellow passenger became irate and threatened the mother and son, pulling out an expandable baton as a train approached 86th Street and Lexington Avenue. As soon as he brandished the weapon, Kayla says her fellow subway riders tackled him and pulled him off the train. But once the guy pulled out the weapon, everybody pretty much jumped on him and tried to wrestle the weapon out of his hand. And um, until they got it, they kept hold of him until the cops came. The unidentified man was taken into police custody. A search then yielded two more knives in his possession. And then he was brought to the street and placed in a police car. His arrest comes as the city began implementing a new strategy this week, targeting an alarming increase in violence in a system New Yorkers depend on to go to and from work. City Hall's subway safety plan focuses on the mentally ill and homeless, essentially living in the subway system. On top of teams of officers paired with social workers, Fox 5 was at Columbus Circle where teams of officers were spread out along the platforms. So every time a train comes in, these officers will step into the car that they're in front of. They'll look from side to side. They'll make sure that there are no issues in that car, nothing of concerning. The technique involves having one officer stationed where the conductor car stops, checking to see if the conductor has anything to report and not just on their train. And it gives them an opportunity to express to us any concerns they have. And like I said, anything they've seen on their train or on any other train or any of the subway stations that they've gone through throughout their day. Now, these steps are being taken to keep New Yorkers safe, but the MTA's chairman and CEO says he also wants riders to feel comfortable. He says when riders see others either drinking or doing drugs in a subway car, it makes them uncomfortable, and he wants that address as part of this. He says he has no interest in criminalizing anything. He just wants people to follow the rules. We're live on the Upper East Side tonight. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.